we looked at a chemical called bisphenol A, or BPA for short. This is an endocrine active compound that's found in many products, including food and beverage containers and the lining of food cans. What we wanted to know was whether a mother's exposure to this chemical could alter the trajectory of the offspring such that they might be more prone to get diseases later in life. We thought that BPA was going to be a contributing factor to weight gain. Instead, we saw the complete opposite, where these animals were displaying hyperactivity. For this study, we utilized a well-established mouse model. We exposed the mothers to the diet to three different levels of bisphenol A, and then we followed the offspring for nine months until they were in adulthood. And we looked at things like activity, energy expenditure, and body composition. This study adds to the body of literature of BPA, and there is conflicting evidence where some studies are showing that BPA is causing more obesity and related phenotypes, whereas our study and others in the field are seeing that early life exposure to BPA is causing hyperactivity. With the weight of evidence across groups, we can begin to see that there are important considerations for things like attention deficit disorder, attention hyperactivity disorder as well. It's going to be very important to follow up these studies in mice with some human long-term cohort studies. These are more difficult studies to do because you have to wait for the individuals to grow up. Recent evidence in humans only looks at one time point, so cross-sectional design. Having BPA levels today, does that affect obesity today? What we're really interested in is BPA exposure during early development, and does that affect your trajectory throughout the life course? So they're two very different questions.